Hello, my name is Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've got that out of the way. Right? <laughs> my name is Connor. I've uh, been a close friend of Johnny's for just over 10 years. I um, want to talk to you about some of Johnny's qualities, a few of Johnny's many qualities. Um, but firstly, I'll just give you a brief background of where he's come from. Johnny has grown up in this church, Jesus Army. He, um, he grew up just a stone throw away from this building, or a football kick away. Johnny's carpentry skills have come in very handy on a couple of these windows, I think. <laughs> He's grown up with his sister, Claire, who just so happens to be Naomi's best friend and bridesmaid. See what he did there, Johnny? Okay. <laughs> Johnny's a carpenter and works for Skano, which is one of our Jesus Army community uh, businesses. He's very good at it. He's a very skilled carpenter. Anybody who's worked with him will be able to tell you how good he is. He's very good at it. Um, and Johnny lives in a Christian community, which, uh, like Claire said, is a group of Christians living together and sharing their lives and, and things in common. Um, I first met Johnny, uh, we used to spend our weekends together at a house called King's and then later Tree of Life. Um, when we were, our attempts at growing a beard were much more feeble than I think we were. <laughs> I, remember, I remember seeing Johnny the first time meeting him, and I remember thinking he was the most shy person I've ever met in my life. It didn't take long before that was obviously not the case. He was not shy whatsoever at all. He's extremely fun, he's very good company. He can turn any situation into a game. So you'd be sitting around having dinner, and then all of a sudden you'd be playing basketball with. It's a paper and cups and all these special points and extra special trick moves and stuff like that. <laughs> he's extremely creative and he has got an incredible imagination. Um, one time Johnny built a zip wire um, at, at the bridge of you know, the tree of life from the top of one tree down across the lawn to the bottom of the other tree. So he climbed the top of it, got on his zip wire and then flying down, he hit the, the stopper bit at the bottom of the rope. He was going so fast that he flung himself off, winded himself for about 20 minutes. Um, needless to say, after, after he caught his breath and he could walk again, he made a couple of adjustments to make himself back again. <laughs> Johnny is an adventurer, he's an exciting guy to be with. One time me and him and a few other friends were swimming in a river. And this, there was a big bridge going over the top of this river, and we were swimming away, eyeing it up. Eventually, somebody dared somebody to jump into the river off this bridge. It was pretty tall, it's about, it's about the height of a house. Um, so we found ourselves all standing on the edge of this bridge, looking over into the river, and Johnny was going to be the one to go in first, because he normally is. Um, so eventually, after a lot of plucking up the courage, he eventually jumped in. We all leaned over and looked in. After a couple of seconds, he surfaced out of the water, and we all thought, phew, he's all right. And immediately afterwards, we all thought, oh, crap, he's all right. <laughs> <laughs> he's a really deep guy. He's, a, he's inspiring and challenging without intentionally being any of them things. I often find myself thinking, coming to the situation thinking, what, what would Johnny do here? Just because he's a, he's a great example and I want to be more like him. He's a quality guy. He has got wisdom beyond his years, he's a very wise guy, and he's got a huge heart for God. You can see this in his life, all throughout his life, he's got, um, the way, just the way he lives his life, you can see his heart and his love for God. A few of the quick little things that I'll mention about him, he's extremely funny, he's, he's one of the funniest people I know, he's got a great sense of humour. He's kind and generous, thoughtful, caring. He's very passionate, he's not a loud or outgoing guy, but he's extremely passionate and he's a strong man. He's very humble, he hasn't got a, an arrogant bone in his body. <coughs> Many of you may know that Johnny is very musically talented. What you may not know is that Johnny, Johnny's musical career probably started about 15 years ago. <laughs> Johnny has written songs and albums, um, and his genius comes out with some of the lyrics to these songs, such as, what are you going to do with your glove? Going to put it on the radiator? <laughs> Why did you put the jars in the washing basket? I am good, I am good, good. <laughs> and my favourite of all, 
Guess what I found with some orange hats around? Here's the frame, there's a throw in your face, my name's Neil, and here's the base. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it would only be fitting to honour Johnny's long and illustrious music career by finishing off this speech through the medium of rap. <laughs> <laughs> a few weeks ago, this sounded like a great idea. <laughs> But anyway, Johnny, you may well recognise the backing track to this. <laughs> and in fact, Claire, you may too as well. Okay, no. I'm back in the sun. Holkin, this piece won't be what you're expecting, a bit reflecting, he worked on my rhymes, I want to say, to make this the best for his big day, okay. Johnny's a man like no other, a brother, I wish I could have played some of his when he was younger. It was good, it was good, good. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 